Hello, 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 everybody. This is Dr. Shneva Early, your craft doctor, and I'm here with my next video um, that I said I was going to make about how to um, hoop a onesie on my new Viking uh, topaz. Her name is Ruth. Uh, so I'm going to hoop um, this and make a design on Ruth. So I'm getting ready to change my camera angle, and there's Ruth right there. And I'm going to move you so you can see my screen. I'm at my desk. So I'm at the little part that I use to design with. So what I did was I created this um, uh, design, as it were, using the lettering. It's called the Harris. And the super design that's built in the machine. You have to know that if you use a design from, um, I'm using the wrong mouse, I'm sorry, I'm, my software is open up over there. Um, if you use a design from Viking, you'll get this little notice that looks like a little flower. And that flower means it's a built-in design and you can only save the file as a Viking file. So, um, I love my big sister, and of course, you know, as everybody knows, this is for my new granddaughter. So, what I'm going to do is go here, and I have a USB drive. I'll put it in there, and then I'm going to, first I'm going to save these snap tabs that was on the file, because I only use... Um, I, I delete them after each use, so I don't have extra files to try to look for. So um, I'm going to push export, and it's showing this PES because I haven't did the export yet. But as soon as I do the export, it, I'm not going to be able to save it in the, the PES, which is weird because the last time... oh. You know what? You can save it in the PS and all the other formats if you get it off the software. If you get it out the library, you can't save it. I got this off the software, so I can save it. But this is where you save it at. Um, the VP3, Viking Fall 3, is where you save it. And the hoop size is 4x4. Four four. Okay, and so I'm going to save it on that zip drive. And I'm going to name it Big Sis and, and press export. Okay, and then you have to go back to the file, go back to the E drive or wherever the drive is, and that's what this is. And you remember you can see these only because I have the thumbnailer. I recommend everybody get that thumbnailer. It's on sale at um, in Brilliance for $39 right now. So you can be able to see your designs. Perfect. I love that feature. I haven't even bought in Brilliance yet because I still have this this software that I bought. And I I love that part of it. Um, so then I'm going to right click and, and eject. So it took me back to that screen because now this is ejected out. And I'm going to swing back over. You know what? I can swing with the little thing instead of moving the tripod every time. There's a little swivel on my tripod. It makes it easier to move. Okay, and then I have the USB piece. It's right here. And I'm hoping this is not too dark. My Roomba decided to start auto doing the floors and it pulled my camera down and it hit my camera and made it fall over and so my lens may be damaged and I'm just because it's crooked and I'm just praying that this will work um because those you know lenses are very expensive and that will cut into my um purchase of supplies that I don't want okay so now um, I'm going to just swing you over a little bit because you can see the screen. It's good. Let me 
see if I can bring y'all in a little bit. Okay. So take the stylus off the roof and it automatically calibrates every time. That part people have complained about, but I love it. I'm going to go down here and I think this is an 80 by 80. This doesn't say, but it doesn't say it's 80 by 80, but I'm almost positive it's 80 by 80. Or is it a 120 by 120? You know what? Let's see. Let's go get it. Let's go get the file. And it says Big Sis. That's the file. And so I'm going to just press it. So it can it'll come up on the screen on its own. Okay. So you see how big it is? So something telling me that it's not 80 by 80, that is 120 by 120 which makes it fit in that realm. And then I'm gonna press go. And this, whoa, never have anything in the sewing field. Then all you have to do is take this piece, or which this is the hoop. See that, this is the hoop and slide it on. And press go. Attach hoop 120 by 120, which means this is 80 by 80. So I can go back, remove my hoop, go back in here, go back to my hoop, and go to 80 by 80. Okay. I'm going to press go. Design is outside the area. That means my design is too big. So let's pull this out. I gotta go back in here. My design is too big. Okay, so let's swing you back over to my computer screen. And we're gonna say no. And I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna delete this because. If I don't delete it and I get it mixed up, I, that'll happen again. Oh, no. Oh, mercy. Did you see what I did? I deleted it and I didn't, it's not, I didn't save it in here. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. Um, hmm. Let me, you know what, it probably is not going to work because it's in the machine. Um, so. Since it's in the machine, let's go back over here and let's see if I can make this work for us. If I go over here and take the design, um, I just centered it in the design, which I should be able to go to Alt and I should be able to go here. You see what I did? I made the design smaller, which means it could fit in my hoop. Let's press go. Okay, so now it's telling me to enter the 80 by 80. Hoop. And now, what? I did. Oh, it's telling me to move. This is the stuff we go through. Let's see. Maybe it is 120 by 120. Let's press go. And attach the hoop. And press OK. It's not reading my hoop. Center in the design. That's the design. 
baby. It is a by eight. Okay, come on, stop playing. It's not reading my poop for some reason. One here, make sure the hoop clicks in the place. Oh, I just bought this hoop. Some of another one I don't pick, maybe a hundred by a hundred. That's why it's a hundred by a hundred, not eighty by eighty. So this is a hundred by a hundred hoop. Okay. So let's go here and All adjustments because I want to keep that where it is. Okay, so now now that we got the hoop size correct, this is what I have to do. Um, I have to take this off because the hoop is already set. Okay, I'm going to take this hoop off. So the design is in the machine right now, not. On, on my computer or the little disc. It's in the machine. So now I'm going to show you how to hoop this onesie. Okay, can you see it? Let's see. Let's move you closer. Come on, Zoom. Okay, come on with this. Okay, so now we're at my table. The design face is up here. So I'm going to take my onesie, which this is the front of my onesie, right? And I'm going to flip it over. So all I did was turn my onesie over. Just like that. So, this is the back of the onesie. As you can see it. Looks like you're a little blurry. Let me see if I can sharpen you up. I think that's better. Okay. So, this is the top. This is the back of the onesie, which makes this the front of the onesie. Right? So, I'm going to take... my onesie and I'm going to lay it in here in the center of the design. I'm floating the design on top of some cutaway stabilizer and it's centered. You just center it. You can put your um, you can do everything to center it. Put your lines and everything but since this is so small I know this is going to be pretty much centered. Okay, so all I'm doing is floating this just like this. And then I'm going to take the magnets and I'm going to put the magnets up there. Then I'm going to do the same thing. Let me make sure this is still staying centered. This magnet is going to go up here. And so that's holding up my collar area, right? Use my head. Right? So you see that. So it's on there. It's centered. All I have to do is pull this back to expose this inter inner part and take these little pieces here. See that has wings? And you set these inside of the shirt. You set this inside the shirt and you take your magnets and you put your magnets on there. 
Okay, so that's another thing that I noticed. I have to I have to stretch this out. I forgot. I have to stretch these out a little bit further because it can't be all the way up there because I need to reach the bottom. Okay, but we still center. You keep make sure you're keeping your onesie center. Okay, and this is just my test, so you can do it the way you want to, but keep it as centered as possible. I'm going to put another magnet. Let's see, that's center. I'm going to put another magnet right there. I'm going to make sure this is center over here. And then I'm going to pull this down because the magnet has to stay on this bottom part of the hoop. So I'm pulling it, making sure that it's tight in there. See that? And it's on the center. Okay, so this part takes another magnet. And now you have an exposed center section for your onesie and it's not being stretched out of shape or anything if you want to which i do i did before i took another magnet and i put this one just over here to hold this part down and do the same thing over here to hold this part down because these magnets are very strong but this bracket holds back all of this extra. It holds back all of the extra, okay? And so if you can see that, hear that? Nice and tight. Now you have your onesie that will fit right back on here. Okay, y'all see in my head. Y'all don't want to see that. And I'm going to put that right back on there. And so, now I'm going to go get my colors. I don't have to do all this maneuvering when I'm working because I don't have a camera on it. Okay, so let's bring this so it's not working on that lens. I want to bring y'all closer so you can see this at work. Okay. Okay, so now we got all we have to do is, is put our colors. The first color is blue, and there's only one, two, three, four colors in this. So our first color is a blue. It's already on here. I'm going to do this. And I'm threading the machine up real quick. in the way. Okay. So if you see this thread. Okay. I'm going to close out of here. And then I'm going to do a, a trace. Oh uh, no, that's the that's the trim. Which alt? Alt. Hmm. Where's my trace? So just, no, 
Okay, we should be good because there's only, it's not that much space. Um, oh, you know what I wanted to do? I did want to adjust this. This. I want to move this up. Yeah, to make sure that it caught it. I wanted to move that and then we're going to press OK. And then we're going to press start. And I'm just holding this up because it's going to cut it. And it is now doing the butterfly. And you see how tight that is? It's really, really tight. Really nice. Very nice stitching. And you can tell there's plenty of room in that center section so that you can put your design. Because the design is not that big. You have to think about this. This design may be a three by four, something like that. Okay. So now it's time for our color change. And the, the longest part of this whole design is actually going to be the words. Um, so let's add, do our purple. Let's do our purple. And I'm hoping that this is not too dark because I didn't want to bring my other camera from upstairs but if this is too dark and I have to buy another lens, I'll have to bring my big deal of sorry from upstairs. I'm still using this one. Okay. It's awkward to be so far away from the machine when I'm trying to thread the needle. This is going to be the inside of the butterfly. This is going to be pretty quick. And you can tell that's the, that's the like rim of the butterfly. just going around the edge of the butterfly. And then it's going to stop and go around the other side, of course. It's super cute. Oh, it's, it's, there's a design, a stippling design inside the butterfly. Yeah. Okay. that side okay and while we're, we're watching that let's turn over here because I am doing um, design over here also this machine what I'm doing is I'm doing snap tabs here, and there's five colors for this, and let's get this one done. Okay. 
Okay, so that one is ready. And I'm just going to do my placement stitch on this one. And then I will move it back over here. There. And we're going to do the pink color. And that's the inner portion of the butterfly. We have it ready. And threading these machines go really quickly. Hardest time because I'm on the wrong side when I'm doing this one. I'm still this quick, and let's press start. That was quick. <laughs> okay, let's close that. Let's do some adjusting and back up a few stitches. And go. Okay, we're going to take this off. And this one is now ready for our words, which is black. Now, this one is going to do the, um, the antler thingies for the butterfly, and then it's going to do the birds. And for this one, we need to change out the color. And now we'll do I Love My Big Sister. Okay, that was my fault. I should have been messing with it. But it is. I need to move that over a little bit. And fix my thread. Under there. Sorry, I'm in the way, but I can't reach it. I'm on the wrong side. Okay, now. I'm going to close out of that, and I'm going to back up some stitches and start. So now then I'm going to, oh, I did press the stop. I, I was looking to see how this looked. This is caught on here. Come on. Okay. 
yep, that's what I was thinking. Okay, so what I want to do, and this is how you can do, fix a mistake. If you go to see my screen and I go here, I can go back to the black and it'll start over. But I don't want to do that. I want to push the back button because I want that eye to do only go repeat. I don't want the antlers. Okay. There. Now we can start and it'll re go over that eye. Okay. And I'm going to this machine because this is time for a little change because this machine just did the placement stitch for my snap tab. And you know, I used to skip the space placement stitch, but quite a few times I missed where my my vinyl is supposed to go and so I decided to stop doing that so if I turn you over here I'm just you, you can see where my placement is and so all I have to do is put this down and get started with this it, it's wise to use that placement stitch because if you don't, you can end up with a mess like I did. And so what I'm doing with this one, I'm actually doing the state of Michigan snap tag, which I just thought was the cutest thing ever. Um, mainly because I am in the state of Michigan and I wanted to do the state of Michigan snap tabs for my show. And I'll do them in, in you know, two or three, different colors um, I'll do them in two or three different colors and so that's something I like that's in this design that it double stitches on them I like that um like that double stitch out okay so let's see the progress you can see the progress of the I love you But look how clear that is. It's wonderful. And it's not being affected. I don't have to hold on to the fabric or anything like that. And this works with any any hoop, any hoop that um, is metal that's four by four for onesies. Because we often use small hoops for our onesies. I'm starting to notice that my machines do not like the cheaper thread. Um, I'm going to change out this needle after this is done because I did a lot of snap tabs, but I'm really starting to notice that I don't like cheaper threads. Thank you. 
have to put um something down there so it won't bang and move. But look at that. It's really doing a good job. And look at this one. It's starting to do, to the, do the stitch out. It's starting to do the stitch out for the actual body of water. I'm sorry. I hope it's not too loud. I don't think so, but I hope not. When I review the video, I'll look and see. What I wish is that if I could put one on both of them. Well, I can, but it's just too much headache right here. So I figure out this camera situation. What is this? Ah. Yeah. My machine is not liking this degree yet. And it's Should have been done by now. Oh, that is coming out beautiful. And so those little bars, and I for the life of me don't know what the, the name of them is. Let me go look. Because I ordered these from, no, I did not. I got these from Viking. Um, I got them from Viking. Um, I got these from these little thingies from Viking, and so if you go to Viking, um, HuskabanaViking.com, you can see them. 
or if you have a Joann's near you, you can go into the Joann's store and buy them from the Joann's people or husband Bonner Viking people. If you go under Husqvarna Viking and go under accessories, um, they are, what are they called? I don't know what they're called. Uh, I threw the box away. Can't remember what they're called, but if you go under Husqvarna Viking, if you go to the Viking dealer in Joann's or call the Viking dealer and tell them you want the fabric, the things that pull the fabric back, that's what these are. Okay, and so you see, I didn't have to sit and hold this the whole time at all. And let's go over here. To my little desk area. Sorry, y'all. Okay. So, all I have to do is pull this straight up and pull off our magnets. These are some strong magnets. Be careful. See that they're pulling them up by itself. Be careful with these magnets. Another one in there. So see, this is cut away. So let me cut it away. I'm, I'm gonna put the no the, the soft stuff on the back. After I trim up all the threads, um, what I usually do also. When I work with this, I do this rounding. So when I put that no-show mess, it's also rounded. Okay. And this is what these little pieces look like. And it's two in a pack and they're like $15. Okay. And then this is a little shirt that I did not sit, have to sit and hold <coughs> to get this done. And there we go. Where's the camera? See that? Perfect, perfect, perfect. Not centered, but that's my fault. But the idea was to show you what to do. All I got to do is put a design over here or something, and it'll be centered. But look at that. No extra work at all. Okay, so I'm just putting it down so you can see what these snap tabs look like. This is some horrible camera job, y'all. This is some horrible camera work. That's what the snap tabs look like. Beautiful. Yeah. So, I wanted to come on right quick and show you what I was doing. Okay, so I just wanted to come on with this quick video, which is not really quick. 
but a video to show you how to use those little pieces um, to hold back your fabric so you can stop stressing holding back the pieces. It only works though with the smaller hoops. So when you're using a metal hoop. Only works when you're using a metal hoop. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you. Oh, it is center. Okay, she needs to put the whole thing square. <laughs> All right. I will see you in the next one.